Welcome back to Diadix. What's the crack? It's Duncan here with another guide slash tutorial for Bigfoot. A new map was released recently with the 4.1 update, and that means people are going to need to know where the safes are located on this map and where the codes for each safe can spawn. So I'm going to walk you through where each safe can be located and where to look for each code. Let's get into it. I explained this in my previous video for the Redwood Forest map, but for those who haven't seen it, I will quickly cover it again. There are weapon safes located in specific points of interest across this map. Much like in the Redwoods, there are three on this map. Each contains a powerful weapon that will be useful to bring down Bigfoot. In these safes you can find the Assault Rifle, the Heavy Sniper and Dynamite. The safe locations are fixed and they do not move, however the codes that you need to unlock each safe are not. The code is randomly generated for each game that you start and they have a potential to spawn in several locations. So we'll start with the safe closest to the starting point on the map, which contains the Heavy Sniper Rifle. The safe is located here at High Mountain Lodge. It's directly south of the RV and the first point of interest that you'll encounter if you head south. The code has a potential to spawn in several areas inside the house, but also on the park bench located just outside. So don't forget to check here. If the code is not located in the house or on the bench, there are a number of other points of interest where it might have spawned in. The next one that you want to check is Old Hunting Tower 2, which is found here. Again, the code can spawn on the bench outside the hunting tower or it can spawn in the tower itself. Remember to check both. The last place to check should be the Harbour Campground. This is directly west of the old hunting tower and is located on the map here. Have a look around the campsite. If the code spawns here, it will be in the tent or the bench outside. The next safe we want to access is located at Howell Branch Creek Lodge and it contains the assault rifle. This is the best gun in the game for dealing damage to Bigfoot quickly, so you want to try and prioritise this safe. It's not as conveniently close to the RV as it was in the Redwoods map, and it is located at the southernmost end of the map here. The code can be located at the lodge, either within the building or on the bench outside. If it isn't there, there are three other locations you need to check. I would start with the Redtail Campground, which is located here. I have seen it spawn here multiple times now in the tent. If it doesn't appear at the Red Tail Campground or the Lodge, you want to next head to the Old Hunting Tower 1, check the tower and the bench there. If still no luck, head west again to Shelter 3 and have a look around there. The last safe we will look at contains the Dynamite. It's located in Bearpaw Creek Lodge. In all of my playthroughs so far, the code has only spawned in the cabin itself or the bench outside. However, fitting the theme of the other spawns, I think there's still a potential for it to appear at Bear Paw Falls or Old Hunting Tower 3, as they are the closest points of interest to the lodge. So if in your game the code doesn't appear at the, at the lodge itself, check both of these points of interest. Like I said in my last video, the dynamite is tricky to use and for the amount of damage it inflicts to Bigfoot, it's not really worth spending too much time trying to find this. So don't prioritise this safe. Last but not least, I thought it would be good to mention the shotgun. It spawns in the wind cave at the north end of the map. It's not located in a safe, but still worth hunting out and there are a lot of ammo for it. And is useful at close range when fighting Bigfoot. It's located here. So that's all the safe locations and their potential code spawns, plus the shotgun spawn. Have fun finding all the weapons and good luck in your hunt for Bigfoot. If you find this guide useful and you haven't already seen my guide for the Redwood map, I'll link it at the end of the video. Please consider liking the video and subscribing to help out the channel and stay tuned for more guides in Bigfoot and other games. I'll be making a weapons guide for the new maps in Bigfoot when they drop, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and bye for now.